before I start today's review, um, I wanted to kind of go through the order of reviews, since this is a three-way kind of channel. So, right now we're going to do a camera review, then a Nerf review, and then a Lego review. We might do a double special, like with the cameras, Nerf, or Legos, whichever um, products come in more often. Um, so, let's get into today's video. Today we will be reviewing the Sunny Action Cam Cradle. So, before you get this, you need a Sunny Action Cam. So, right here I have my Sunny Action Cam AS20 here. It's a good um, action cam. It's like a GoPro, better or worse. Really just depends on what you're using it for. So, it turns this Sunny Action Cam into a ha handheld um, camcorder. So, just by attaching it. So just by looking at it, we have a screen. On the back here, we have a couple of buttons. We have the record button and we have the hold. Um, but then at the bottom here, there's a couple of buttons for play, fast forward, and rewind. So you can actually replay what you're shooting. There you go. You guys can kind of see that right there. So to attach your camera is where you charge it and where you put, um, you know, when you charge it, you plug in your power and all that other stuff, HDMI cables. Um, you open that up. Then over here on the side, there's a little hinge, and you can kind of just open that up. It, there's a little notch down here that you can just slide the camera into. Simple as that. And then you close this. And what is nice about this is you can still see the screen. And you can start the two buttons here that you normally press. So you still can do all the settings. So when you turn it on, you just hold the back button. Now, I don't have a memory card. But when you do open this, you can now see what you're shooting. Instead of just kind of guess a chat um, using the mobile app. I have tried the mobile app. It is not the best app as easy as GoPro. You have to do way more settings. And so that's one like bad thing about the Sony Action Cams, but we're going over this cradle. So you can shoot. It actually looks very professional once you have it in your hand and shooting. And if you want to have an adapter, so on the bottom there is a tripod mount, so you can attach this to a tripod. So if you want to, you can attach this to. Mostly anything you want to, if you want to attach it to a tripod, if you want to attach it to anything. But really, I would attach it to a tripod and then put a wide, since it's a wide end, I would put it on a tripod. And since it's a wide angle lens, it will have a wide sort of view instead of buying an entire huge lens setup for your, um, you know, your DSR which I'm shooting on now. So every so another update on this channel, I would be telling what kind of camera and what I'm using in the camera video. So right now, I'll be telling you what I'm using. I am using the Canon Rebel T5i with a Rode video mic and a tripod, man photo tripod with a ball head um, mount on there. So that is what I have on there now. So Make sure you subscribe and like these videos, and if we can get a good amount of subscribers, there will be daily videos, maybe every other day or every day, if we get a good amount of subscribers. So please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, especially if you want to see the Legos and Nerf videos. They will come around more sooner if we have more subscribers. So thank you. Bye.